Remember that story we told you about last month? We had this investigation into the power wheelchair industry. Critics say it is putting seniors in costly equipment they don't need and ripping off the government for what may be hundreds of millions of dollars a year. Now, law enforcement is taking action. Jeff Glor is in New Braunfels, Texas. Jeff, good morning. Charlie, good morning to you. 150 federal and state agents were part of this raid on the scooter store here yesterday, and agents remain on the site this morning. We just spoke to an FBI agent who says workers will not be allowed back into headquarters today as the nation's largest power wheelchair company remains under investigation. The agents came from the inspector general, FBI, and Texas attorney general. They held some workers back for interviews and told others to leave the building immediately and leave their desks alone. This video was taken by one worker inside. Dad, please exit the building when you have your personal belongings. And exit right here. Is there any way we can know what's going on? We're executing a federal search warrant. Outside, employees were handed flyers with contact information for the FBI as the scooter store, known for its abundant TV ads, became the subject of this federal investigation. I pray to God that everyone's okay and that, that they find employment if this shuts down. If you're living with limited mobility, call the scooter store today. Late last year, former employees told us the company's main goal is not to help patients. It's to bulldoze doctors into writing prescriptions to boost profits. Bulldoze and get them to get the paperwork done. So people could get those Mm -hmm. wheelchairs yes even if they didn't need them yeah the issue is that once a doctor has written a prescription medicare rarely verifies whether the chairs are actually necessary and the problem was crystallized when the inspector general released this report finding that industry-wide 80 percent of medicare payments for power chairs are made in error most going to people who don't need them or who lack proof they need them from 2009 to 2012, government auditors found the scooter store overbilled Medicare by as much as $108 million. Three former scooter store employees told us the company ranked doctors based on whether they prescribed chairs, and that it had a program specifically to get chairs for people that physicians had already deemed ineligible. Brian Setzer, one former employee, says incessant phone calls and visits wore doctors down. I'd get a call, well, can you go in and do this to get him to do it, get him to do this? I couldn't feel right in my heart to do that. Who's telling you to do this? Corporate office. Even if you knew they didn't need it? Mm -hmm. And this happened a lot? Oh, yeah. They pushed the doc so hard that they didn't want anything to do with you. You may qualify for a power chair at little to no cost to you. Last month, the scooter store would not agree to an on-camera interview, but told us it's committed to improving quality of life for seniors and the disabled, saying its rigorous internal screening process, including a Medicare-required face-to-face doctor examination, disqualifies 88% of those seeking Medicare or private insurance reimbursement for power mobility devices. But now, the scrutiny of the nation's largest power wheelchair company has reached a new level as federal agents begin their examination of evidence seized here. The evidence collection will take days here, we're told. As of yet, no arrests and no charges have been filed. Charlie, Nora? Jeff, I assume part of this is simply trying to build a case so they can recoup the money uh, for people who uh, spent money on these scooters. The, the recruitment of the money is, is a big part of this. The scooter store did agree to pay back $19.5 million last year. Medicare says they were overbilled $108 million. Uh, so there's been some controversy about that because Medicare says that was not a settlement. That's just a starting point. All right, Jeff Glor, thank you.